drop, gonna drop. So as the years went on, you stopped being an actress. I think in 2001 was your last role, right? Or around that time. Mm-hmm. And uh, what happened and what did you end up doing after that? Well, um, I met someone and um, he was a really fun, charismatic um, attorney. He um, had a lot of money. It was young at heart. Um, I fell deeply in love. We had a baby, and I fell in love with my baby, and I couldn't um, see myself not being with him. It was just like, oh. Um, maybe I've had I not gone back so soon because I went back like a month later and you know had I waited like maybe six months I'd be like get me out of here um but yeah and then I and then I just kept having babies and um he kept getting more and su- more successful and um then he got brain cancer and had a um, deal with that for nine years and um, then he died and I hadn't thought about acting or, or anything I, I forgot who I was I forgot I mean without him I didn't know who I was and um, he was white and um, an attorney and well respected and um, after he was gone, I felt so alone, you know, like, who's going to protect me? Who's going to, because all of a sudden I was a Latina woman. I mean, I mean, I never felt so, um, so just so, um, invisible so non-essential so i mean i i I, I would go to the i I needed tires and i went to a tire shop and said i need four new tires what do you mean i need four new tires (laughs) like well you would do you want wheels do you want this you want that I, i i i don't know just Whatever they have on them, put new ones on there. Yeah, but do that. And, and just like asking me all these questions, right? And I'm like, I, I don't know. And then so I had to go get my cousin, who's man. I'm like, can you come with me to get tires? Because they don't seem to know what I mean. And then he's like, all right. So he comes with me. He's like, yeah, she says she needs tires. And he goes, oh, why didn't she just say so? And I'm like. Um, that's when I knew that women were, I mean, I, I just had to learn and I, YouTube university was my, my lifesaver because I would look everything up and make sure I knew what things meant or how things are supposed to go. So I didn't get taken because people saw me and thought. Um, you know, she's like, I just felt like prey, you know, and, um, what can people get from me? So I always knew that if somebody said, well, let me ask you this, they don't know. Um, and, uh, what else would they, what do people say? Um, I don't know. There were, there were, there was like these phrases that people say that, used to just make me go, oh, see ya. You can't help me. You know what I mean? Like, do do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I understand. Yeah, like, you go to somebody for for help and and they either A, don't know, or B, want to know more. And, and without you, you know, like, you know, they're going to take your idea or your, or your, 
whatever it is and run with it. And so that's where I became less trusting of people, especially men, because, and, you know, and, and a lot of women too, like, I, I lost all my friends because, you know, I wasn't single and ready to mingle, nor was I, um, it, um, I, I don't know, I, I wasn't trying to take their husband, I, I wasn't, I, I, when my husband died, I thought, I'm glad I did that, that was great, but I'm never doing that again, <laughs> that was like, being married is hard, it's a lot of work, and, um, um, it, it's not like the big things like that that used to get on my nerves. It was the little things like tripping over his shoes, like him like leaving ca cabinet doors open that I couldn't reach to close, or or just stupid stuff, you know. Like, would I want to put up with that with somebody else? Um, no. And so the moment I like saw something I didn't like, I'd flash forward five years and be like, and, um, so, um, what I needed though was a husband and I needed them yesterday because it was so hard to be a widow with four kids at a young age. What year that I'm first, I'm want to say sorry for your loss. Um, and definitely the, Worst thing with cancer is seeing the long process, the t deterioration over time and, and the, the fear of the resurgence and just all those things, you know, like it's it's not a fast killer. It's, a, you know, over time, it will, you know, like it's terrible um, to watch someone go through that. Um, but what year did this happen? He died in... Um... 2010. 2010. Okay. And so then you, your identity, um, oh. after being an actress was you, you became a mom, you became a wife and you chose the, the household as this is I got my... the picket fence. I got the millionaire with no kids, no baggage. No, I mean, it, it was, it, it was, the fantasy, I, I got it. Right. I, I got every little girl's dream. I did me. And I always thought, God, what did I do to deserve this? You know, like, how did I? And then once it was gone, I was like, hey, wait. Um, but, um, yeah, it was, it's possible. It's every, I think I'm living proof that everything's possible. And you could live through anything, you know?